Hey, what's up YouTube? So today, I wanted to show you guys how I separate my guppies. Usually around the two month mark, I usually like to separate my guppies, um, males from females, um, so that I can continue to selectively breed out this strain. This strain is the Metalhead Bluegrass Guppies. And um, actually this is a couple of batches. Um, one batch is younger than the other. So um, some of the small ones, I'm not gonna be able to tell yet, but um, some of the larger ones I am going to be able to tell so whichever ones I can tell I'm going to take out of this tank and then the rest I'm going to leave in there to grow out until I can tell um, but let's kind of get discuss how we can tell how to sex some of these guppies uh, let's, so this one right here is a male it's kind of hard to see but there's a little bit more color on that body and they ha they, they're starting to show what they call a gonoponium which is kind of like their anal fin is a little bit more um, pointed than the females and then the female guppies um, like this one up here this big one here they have a gravid spot right near the anus area here's another female uh, so let's catch some out and maybe I'll get a closer view so I can discuss them further but let's go I usually just catch them with this small net here's the female right here and so it's a lot of tedious work like just to go one by one and picking them out as you can imagine it takes a while here's another female get in there I'm kind of seeing a lot more females than males in this batch Here's another male. Oops. Oh, that's a fast one. There we go. This one's a male, definitely. You can start to see that um, bluegrass pattern on its body already starting to show. The females won't have any of that. But um, even at this stage, it is possible to make some mistakes um, usually when people make mistakes is they um, they think it's a male but it actually turns out to be a female in the end and if that happens it's kind of not good but hopefully I'm careful and won't make that mistake today here's another book Here you go, here's another female. If I can get her. There we go. And I really like these fry nets. Um, I get them from my local fish store for just a dollar a piece. And I have a lot of them. I like to just spread them out throughout my fish room so it's always close by there's another male uh, this one's a little bit hard to tell so I'm not gonna make that call yet although I think it might be female this one's definitely a female But um, yeah, let's get this separated and I'll show you um, what it looks like and then. Okay, I think I'm about um, done separating. Uh, the rest are a little bit too young to tell, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, but let's take a look at the end result here. All right, these are the guppies separated. Uh, this side is the females, you can see 
all the gravid spots over here, especially this one right here. It's very obvious. Um, some of some of the differences are a little bit more subtle, um, but this is the male section here, and a lot of them you can see have a um, little bit more color on their bodies. And no gravid spot is pretty much the easiest way to tell. Some of them are too young um, to really see that gonoponium, they're still kind of fan shaped. But um, just that extra color on the body for this particular strain, um, they're pretty easy to tell. Oh, I think that's a female right there, but I take that one out. But yeah, sometimes um, at this age, you can get some misdiagnosis once in a while. See if I can get this one out. I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, this looks like a female that I accidentally put in, and I probably put it her in here because I saw some color on her body, which is why you just you can't just go by color. I missed that gravid spot right there. All right, let's put her in the other one. All right, let's do a little quick check on the rest of them. Make sure I didn't make any more mistakes. I don't see any. All right, the males look good. And interesting that there's a there's a couple of these pinkish looking females in this this one here. But okay, yeah, um if you ever want to get into line breeding guppies, you're going to want to separate your um sexes at around 2 months before they're um really able to breed some of this. I might have waited too long and they might have like this one might have got hit already um, but if you that way you can select selectively breed the nicest parents so I'm gonna grow these out for another couple months and see which ones are the nicest ones and put them back together for the next generation all right hope you learned something today thanks for watching